Hi, so this is a new series in which I'll be talking about how we, uh, you know, do uh, data analytics on uh, the Python programming uh, language. All right, so uh, you might have seen, um, you know, the data analytics on SAS and R platform uh, in my in my uh, YouTube channel. So in this particular series, I'll be talking about or I'll be showing you how to uh, do uh, data analytics uh, techniques like uh, you know regression, classification, clustering um, on on Python. So the question is, what is Python, and uh, you know what is it about, and how how can it be used for um, data science or data analytics okay so python as most of you would know is a as a, uh, a programming language and it's also open source uh, so it's it's uh, free uh, pretty much like uh, r programming language uh, but it is much much broader because the uses of python is not just for data analytics it can be used for other kinds of uh, you know soft things like software development uh, web application development website development and, and uh, so on python has been there in the world you know since um, late 80s uh, and it has got different version of it but more recently because of uh, you know scientific uh, use, uh, computing uh, a numerical computation or you know um, uh, and uh, data you know data you know manipulation and uh, prediction forecasting uh, for all these kinds of things python has been um, you know doing a very well thing uh, good thing and python has been very popular over these years um, so uh, how is it different from the other statistical softwares um, like r which is also uh, open source and why one should also learn python who already knows r well r is is also a powerful statistical programming language uh, but um, r is not uh, you know the uses of r uh, programming is not as broad as uh, python however uh, there is a uh, that's still not very clear though which one is better in terms of uh, you know in terms of learning the language and which which one is uh, better um, in terms of uses in the data analytics uh, thing uh, more recently uh, people have seen uh, or you know some bloggers have written about it uh, compared the two languages and they have uh, they have also done the survey that python is gaining more popularity among the data analytics professionals as compared to as hence it's important it's gaining more popularity uh, recently and it's important to learn um, you know bit of python uh, which is now uh, you know gaining popularity in the uh, big data analytics uh, framework it has been popular in the scientific on the research and academics uh, for a long time but more recently uh, it's getting uh, acceptances in the uh, industry uh, per se for uh, in different types of industry uh, not just uh, in more core academic research but, but in the applied sectors like finance uh, uh, like uh, upper, uh, i mean finance uh, whether it's uh, other kinds of domains like uh, you know technology uh, retail telecom and so on all right so uh, in, in order to learn python i think it's good to get an overview of what is python how is it different from or how is it similar to other programming language but just by going to the wikipedia page of uh, python it's a high level programming language as it says um, and then uh, how is it different from the more general purpose programming language like c++ and java well it's the, i mean python can do most of the things that c++ and java can do but uh, it is it is written in such a way that the syntax is in such a way that you you will require fewer lines of code to uh, or to implement the functionality that you have to uh, um, if we if we are using C++ and Java so you can use fewer lines of code to the, do exact same functionality uh, and use fewer lines of code um, it has different types of uh, you know multiple programming uh, paradigms like it can be written in object oriented uh, approach it can be written in uh, functional 
written as a functional uh, programming as well uh, and it's simple and highly readable uh, hence it's uh, becoming so popular all right so our concern is more about using python uh, for data science or data analytics or only analyzing data we will not be covering areas uh, related to web application development and so on so uh, the first thing you can do is that do a google search and in the first link that you will get is the python.org which is the open source organization maintaining and uh, you know doing the upgradation activities of uh, python software or the python uh, programming language uh, when you click on it you will get to this page uh, python.org and then you can go to download okay uh, mainly there you'll be, you'll be having the 3.5 uh, you know, the latest of course is 3.5.1 um, so you can download it for uh, di uh, different uh, you know operating systems if you have window or linux it has both uh, you know it has its own um, broke, uh, you know uh, installation different installation for uh, Linux Mac uh, Windows uh, and so on so download the latest one from here you can go to the python.org and download it and installing installing it is very easy you just have to uh, click on the exe file and uh, just you know do the next 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 and it's going to ins get installed in the in the computer and you will get the python idle um, or the platform on which you will be writing your code uh, in the menu bar of your computer and then um, you can you can start using it okay so uh, this is how the uh, you know the uh, python 3.5.0 uh, and it's actually one currently um, you can you know you can you can get this window and you can start writing your code uh, once it is installed in your systems so it could be like let's say I want to uh, you know assign uh, a variable X which is which takes a value of 10 and then uh, when I write X it gives a value of 10 so uh, it looks similar to what we do on R, but there are other things which are uh, you know different from what we see on R programming language. So in the uh, in this particular series, I'll be talking about the differences, uh, what you will see on, uh, or what you will find on Python uh, that you have learned on R. So I'll talk about the differences while uh, teaching the uh, analytical concepts on on Python. All right, so there are different, uh, you know, versions of uh, or different variations of Python. I would say um, one of the variation of Python that another free source uh, organization or, or you know another uh, group of people who are like uh, working on it is IPython, which is a more integrated version of Python and it, it has got a uh, uh, lot more uh, cooler features of um, and and probably easier to learn uh, although although again it's very subjective what is easy for you know somebody may not be easy for somebody else um, all right so uh, ipython uh, is, is also uh, you know becoming very popular in the data science community uh, because it is more tailored made for people using uh, a people wanting to do data analysis so if you're uh, if you are more keen on using uh, learning python for only for data analysis ipython you know is is, is something that is uh, you know better uh, and uh, you know it's as i have said it's tailored made for uh, data analytics purpose so you can download uh, ipython from the ipython org you can go to their website and download uh, the latest version from there um, Recently, uh, the IPython organization, they have, I think it's been two years, uh, they have started another project called Project Jupyter. Uh, you can, Jupyter is also a Python, uh, you know, platform where you can write Python code for, but Jupyter is more, again, for data analysis rather than for 
you know other kinds of uses of python like web application development and so on the good thing about jupyter is that it can support uh, other kinds of programming languages like uh, uh, julia like r and it does also has integration you can easily integrate to big data tools like apache uh, apache spark uh, scala and, and 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 so on so the the best thing is that you know one platform on which you can write both python and r code or it can interpret r code which is uh, amazing and you can use all the good things all the good uh, you know packages like pandas Sky, scikit learn you know ggplot deep um, so all the features from both the uh, you know, programming languages uh, r and python and play around with it, it it's, it's a lot more fun so that's about uh, the you know the basic introduction about python programming language and we'll talk about more about it when we actually see how we can you know assign a variable uh, do mathematical operation on these variables um, and then uh, you know write the function procedures uh, importing packages on python uh, and and so on so and we'll also learn, uh, you know, how to do a linear regression, how to do a clustering on 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 on, uh, on Python, uh, how to build a model using uh, the Python programming language. So, uh, so you know, in the in the following videos, in the subsequent videos, I'll be covering all of this, and uh, you know, so please stay tuned to uh, you know watch the entire series and uh, thanks for the subscription and please subscribe to our channel to get uh, you know uh, videos on quantitative techniques uh, data analytics data science and statistical programming tools thank you